Good day. In this paper, we are looking at question 1A, 1B, 1C of the 2021 MCA Level 1 Applying Algebraic Procedures in Solving Problems Equation. In other words, we are doing algebra in an external environment. Without further ado, let's look at question 1A, 1B and 1C and try to solve them. So the first question is, find the value of 2x squared minus 3xy when x equal to minus 3 and y equal to 4. This is the substitution question. So in other words, in substitute means we replace the unknown with a number. So the equation is given as this, 2x squared minus 3 x y if we know that x is minus 3 and y equal to 4 we are going to put the numbers to replace the expression so 2 instead of x squared make sure you have a bracket you're going to put minus 3 squared okay and minus 3 instead of x put a bracket minus 3 x is replaced by minus 3 and y is replaced by 4 okay now must be careful minus 3 is squared is going to be 2 multiplied by 9 and then on this side 3, put a bracket first, 3 multiplied by negative 3, negative 9, negative 9 times 4 is negative 36. So put a negative 36 there. Okay, so now you expand it, 2 times 9 is going to be 18, minus, and the minus become a plus 36. So 18 plus 36, the answer is going to be 54, and that will give you an achieve in that question. Great, now we're going to proceed to question 2, okay. Question 2 looks like that, okay. So just adjust the paper a little bit, okay. Okay, the equation 6 equals to 2x squared minus 11x has two solutions, P and Q. With P greater than Q, what is the value of P minus Q? This sounds very simple, but this is actually an excellent question. So what we're going to do, we're going to rearrange this equation. So 2x squared minus 11x equals to 6. Then what I do, I just swap over. This goes in front and that goes the other way around. So 2x squared minus 11x equal to 6. Next, we're going to get rid of the 6 to make sure it become a quadratic equation. So 2x squared minus 11x minus 6 equal to 0. What I did is just, I just minus 6 to both sides of the equation. Next, we're going to factorize. There are many ways to factorize. The, my favorite method is called the cross method. So I have 2x here and x there. And then I'm going to cross the method there, okay? So we're going to be 1 plus 1 and minus 6. So what I mean, I'm going to cross multiply. x times 1 is going to be 1x. 2x minus 6 is going to be minus 12x. And then when you're going to add the two numbers, 1x minus 12x is going to be minus 11x. If that number equal to the middle number here, then that's the answer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a bracket there. And then you're going to put 2x plus 1x minus 6 equal to 0. Okay, now you're going to solve, okay? So you can 2x plus 1 equal to 0 or x minus 6 equal to 0. Now if you solve it, so 2x equal to negative 1 or x equal to 6. Simplify them, x equal to negative half or x equal to 6. So there are two solutions and the solution is p must be greater than q. So p has to be 6, p has to be 6 and the q, the smaller one, has to be minus half. And the last part they ask you, what is the value of P minus Q? So P minus Q is equal to six minus negative half. So it's gonna be six plus half. And the answer is gonna be six and a half or 6.5. And that is an excellent, okay? If you can solve, you can factorize, you get the achieve, okay? This part is achieve. If you can get the two solution, you get the merit. And if you get the answers right, or P minus Q, T or is the excellence in MCA level one. It's great. Now we're going to do the last question. The last question is actually a merit question. Okay, I'm going to adjust the paper. Okay, we shall read the question together. Okay, so find the values of the numbers M and N that will make 2x plus M squared equal to 4x squared plus MX plus 9. True, given that both M and N are positive number. So what we need to do, we're going to expand this part here, 2x plus m. So we're going to write 2x plus m squared is equal to 4x squared plus nx plus 9. So we're going to expand that, okay? If you do not know how to expand using the uh, 2, you can do this way, 2x plus m, 2x plus m 
equals to 4x squared plus nx plus 9. Okay, so now uh, the best way to expand is the grid method. I'm going to do the word grid method here. So we're going to do a grid here. So it's going to be 2x plus m, 2x plus m. Okay, we multiply them. 2x times 2x will be 4x squared. 2x times m is 2xm or 2mx. This is the same thing, 2xm. And then m times m is going to be m squared. So that expression is going to be 4x squared plus 2mx plus 2mx plus m squared. And that is equal to 4x squared plus nx plus 9. The right hand side doesn't change, okay? So simplify this part. So 4x squared plus 4mx plus m squared equals to 4x squared plus nx plus 9. So 4x squared and 4x squared are the same. So we can just minus 4x squared on both sides and we can cancel out. So we need to see that m squared is equal to 9. Okay, the constant m squared equal to 9. So m is equal to plus minus 3 because your square root of 9 is plus minus 3. But they said that both m and n are positive. So m have to be plus 3. Okay. And then the last part we need to solve for n. Okay. 4m is equal to n because the x, comparing the x. So 4m is equal to n because m is 3. So n equal to 4 m again i just swap over n equal to 4 m is 3 so plus 3 so n equals to 12. if you can get it right that is a merit okay or they write as r in nca okay and the first part if you can expand that part to get this equation uh 4x squared plus 4m that will be a achieved part so overall we have done question 1a 1b 1c so we will continue with 1d and 1e in the next video Hope you have a good day and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers everyone!